In this video, let's see another numerical problem which we'll be solving by first derivative test. Although we have seen this type of a problem in the previous videos with the help of graph, but now I'm teaching you how to do it with the help of first derivative test. The question is find local maxima or local maximum value and local minimum values for fx is equal to mod x, where x belongs to the domain such that it belongs to the all real numbers. Now had it been by graph, it would be very easy for us. But yes, we still need to understand how to do it with the help of the first derivative test. I have written solution. Let's start with it. Simply speaking, fx is given to you as mod x. And you know how to expand it. So y would be basically minus x and x minus x when x is less than 0, x when x is greater than or equal to 0. Very much clear. Because for other things, I do not need to check. But at 0, I know it is non-differentiable, so I need to check it there. Now, if I have to find dy by dx, I can say that when x is less than 0, I know that dy by dx would be equal to minus 1. And when x is greater than or equal to 0, I know my dy by dx would be equal to plus 1. Now you see that, suppose this is 0 and this is a number line, this is less than 0, this is greater than 0. When you move from less than 0 to greater than 0, when you move from here to here, you find what? You find earlier the differentiation was minus 1 and then it changed to plus 1. So it is going from negative to positive. So since it is going from negative to positive, so I can say that 0 is a point of 0 is a point of local minima, right? How I can say that 0 is a point of local minima? Because I know that my f dash x changes sign from negative to positive as I move forward from left hand side of 0 to right hand side of 0. And it said about local maxima or local minima, I can say that there is no maximum value, there is no maxima, but yes, there is minima. If 0 is the point of local minima, what is the local minimum value? You can easily find out, right? I can easily say there is no maxima, so no maximum value exists. Only we can say that yes, minima exist and that is what is global minima also and local minima also in this case. 